In this episode of Pros vs. Ams, we're going to take a look at some very common right shoulder movements with professional golfers and compare those to what we commonly see with amateur golfers. So we've got our multiple PGA Tour winner here on the left, and then we've got our amateur here on the right. And we chose two golfers with very similar body builds, very similar fitness um, situations or fitness stages in their lives, and then uh, very similar ball flights. They both try to play the same ball flight. So we're getting a, as apple to apples as, as we can get in this comparison. And again, we're not just singling out one pro versus one amateur. Uh, we're singling out what we see very common amongst the pros compared to the common data that we have for our amateurs. So if we just start scrolling these golfers back, and again, we're using the gears bones feature in these shoulders uh, videos because it's easier to see. And in this one, we're doing a little bit of a of transparency so we can see as the shoulders start moving back and forth. It's just, there's a lot going on here uh, when the shoulders start covering up other parts of the body. So this will make it a little bit easier. And the blue arrow represents, it's tracing the right, uh, excuse me, the right shoulder and the red arrow is tracing the left shoulder. So as we take this golfer, both of these golfers, up to the top of their backswing, we start to see some uh, pretty big differences here already. And, and if you remember from the left shoulder video, we know that a lot of amateurs have the, um, have the uh, tendency to raise that left shoulder up. And we can see that right here for sure. And whereas the pros have a tendency to kind of keep that same level and then actually lower it in the downswing. And we can see how that relates to the right shoulder movements, which there's not a ton of difference right now, but we're gonna to start to see some uh, key differences here as we start the downswing. So as our amateur golfer starts to downswing, we can see his arrow really start to take out kind of towards that ball target line. And this guy actually said one of his downswing thoughts is to start rotating as fast and as hard as he can. And he's actually doing that. This is a really good uh, representation or it's good evidence of that thought that he has. Um, where if we look at the pro, we can start to see both arrows really start to go down and away from the target line. And that's something that is not uh, we just don't see that that often in the amateur golfers trying to rotate so hard and so fast out of the top. We see it a lot with the pros because they're getting the arms down more at this point rather than really trying to burn that rotation right out of the top of the downswing. And then if we keep scrolling him, we can see the, the really stark differences now between both the left and right shoulder. Uh, almost a complete opposite movement of the right shoulder at this point. And then uh, as they both near impact, some really cool differences here where we can see the pro, his left and right shoulder now are getting very close to passing from this point of view anyway, from passing on the same plane. And this is actually impact right here. So there, that red line and that blue line are very close together where we can see that early shallowing of the shoulder plane from our amateur golfer. Now we can really see the difference where those red and blue arrows are much farther apart and really not going towards each other like they are here on the pro side. Then if we kind of scroll him back, we're going to point out something else for you guys. So we're going to go back up to the top and we're going to use, um, we're going to look at the hand path and we're going to use a light blue line or turquoise, whatever you want to call it, to represent the butt of the club travel. And then the green line, which is what we use to represent the mid hands point. Um, you know, a lot of golfers trace both to kind of get an idea of where the club's moving. And as you can see right here, the, the two locations are very similar, but we wanted to put those up just as a representation. And we're going to see some key differences here as the golfers come down. Our amateur gets down first because, because again, he's really trying to rotate hard from the top. And we can see that his hands, there's a lot of lines going on there, but that's why we use that dark blue uh, arrow. We can see the, 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 his grip going above where that arrow is. So his hands are going above his shoulder turn. And that's a big deal for us. We really like to see golfers, like we're gonna see our pro do, get the hands underneath the shoulder turn when they start that downswing. 
That's a very, very big key uh, for later in the downswing. It really allows you to create some leverage and really allows you to use the plane, both the, the hands and the club head really nicely coming down. Um, and you can just see the, the stark differences in wrist angles uh, because of that that right shoulder movement in particular where the golfer has to to shallow it out and to kind of hold some lag. He's really having to cup that left wrist uh, on the right side of the screen here. And we can see the difference, that flattening and arching of the uh, pro's left wrist. So as we scroll them down, we're going to take them into the uh, impact again. And you can see the big differences here. And then we're going to just kind of wheel him through towards his finish and let you see how these these arrows again on the pro side would really, if we kept it going, they would really start to crisscross again. And on our amateur side, those arrows are actually taking off away from each other. So you can see just in this frame here, this, the two traces of both shoulders, how on the pro side, those arrows are really converging and crossing and really kind of intermingling tightly together. And then the amateur, what we see so often is that there's a distinct movement pattern. Those arrows stay separated and it's usually that shallowing nature very early in the golf swing. So give this some thought, see how it applies to your game. Put a little dot on your own swing from down the line and just kind of see if you can spot some key differences in your own golf swing.